Well, hey guys, this is Jeff. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Daily Snack. Uh, let me check in with you. Did you watch yesterday on the Daily Snack as we uh, showed some footage of our game from Sunday at Journey's Crossing called Save the Citizens? If not, you should definitely go back and check that out. If you did watch it, have you saved the citizens yet this week? Have you played that game or have you at least made plans to play that game? Because, man, it is a super fun one. Uh, my kids are begging me. We have not done it yet together, uh, but they are begging me to get some pudding, get some gummy bears and save the citizens together. All right. So here we are on Tuesday, the Daily Snack, and I've got a different kind of challenge for us. So let's keep reviewing what we talked about on Sunday at Journey's Crossing, and that was uh, as we started looking at what heroes are like, how God created us to be heroes, we learned that heroes uh, never give up doing good. And we heard the story of three uh, people in the Bible. Uh, actually, more than three people, but three stories in the Bible. We heard about Noah way back in the book of Genesis, the very first book. We heard about Nehemiah, who had lived in that period of kind of judges and kings as things were not going well for Israel. And then we heard in the New Testament about four friends who helped a, a friend of theirs who had a disability. They actually hauled him up to a roof, dug a hole in the roof, and dropped their friend uh, gently down the roof so that uh, right at Jesus' feet so that Jesus could heal him. Some amazing stories. Now, we talk all the time in kids' church about how God is really crazy in love with you. He's in love with you. He's in love with me. He's in love with everyone that he's ever made, which is everyone you'll ever meet. And, man, just like friends, uh, God wants to talk with us. He wants us to talk to him, and he wants to talk to us. Think back over this last year, over the pandemic. Think about all the time that you've missed hanging out with your friends at school, on baseball teams, at ballet, all the things that you normally get to do where you get to hang out and talk to your friends. We've missed a lot of that. We've, we've, we've done a little bit of it by Zoom, which has been okay, but man, we've missed our friends an awful lot. We know that when we don't get time to hang out with our friends and time to talk with our friends, how bad that feels. Now think about God wanting to be your friend, wanting to be a great friend of yours. Man, when we don't talk to God and we when, when we don't get a, a chance to listen to God, we he, we miss out. It it can make us feel a little out of sorts, but I think it really makes God sad when we don't spend time listening to him and talking to him. Now we talk about prayer and how that's one of the main ways that we talk to God. We just talk to God about what we're feeling and uh, about what we need and things like that. But listening to God can be a little bit trickier. We can do that through prayer. We can stay silent. We can listen for what God's speaking to us. But there's one definite way that we can listen to God, and that is by reading this book. Not this exact book, because this one's mine, but we can read the Bible. You can see mine is actually pretty pretty worn out. If you look in here, there's all kinds of spaghetti stains because I, I uh, read it while I eat a lot. This is a great way to listen to God and brings me to my challenge this week on our Tuesday edition of the Daily Snack. We, like I said, we learned about three characters uh, on Sunday. We learned about Noah, we learned about Nehemiah, and we learned about the friends of that man with a disability. I want to focus in on Nehemiah. I want to challenge you to read the story of Nehemiah. Now, not the whole book. That would take, you could do that if you want. It's a great book to read, but I want you to read just part of this book. The story of Nehemiah helping to lead people to rebuild the wall, this great work that he undertook, takes place in Nehemiah chapters 1 through 6. I'm even going to let you cheat just a little bit. I'm going to let you skip chapter 3. Chapter 3 is really long, and it's a list of a whole bunch of people that I don't know and you don't know. And for us in the year 2021, it can feel a little boring. So you've got five chapters of the Bible that I am challenging you to read this week. Nehemiah chapter 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Those five chapters. And then here's what I want you to do. I want you to come to Kids Church on Sunday. And I want you to have written down on a piece of paper 
the three guys that messed with Nehemiah throughout those five chapters. Uh, I won't tell you the names right here, although I, you, if you were there Sunday, you heard them, but you might not remember them because they're not names that we would regularly call people today. But when you're done with that five chapters, write down those three names and show me that piece of paper on Sunday. And if you do, I'm going to have a prize for you. Actually, I'm going to have a whole assortment of prizes for you to pick from. Uh, there's going to be some boxes of candy. There's going to be some other stuff there. But I want to give it away to you. Uh, so if you're watching The Daily Snack and you're like, I like stuff. I would like to win stuff. And I really kind of want to learn how to talk to God and listen to God. Man, read Nehemiah chapters 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Write down those three names. Give it to me Sunday and I will hook you up with a prize. It really is that simple. You've got five days to do that. And there's five chapters, so you could read like a chapter a day and you'd be all done. And each chapter is only going to take you, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes. So it's not very much at all to do. Uh, if you've got a brother or sister, you could read it with them. You could read it together. You could definitely read it with your parents. Uh, ask your parents, hey, would you read this to me? You could listen to an audio Bible and, and hear it that way. No matter how you do it, read those five chapters, Nehemiah chapter one, two, four, five, six. Bring me that card with those three names written on it, and I will hook you up with a prize on Sunday. I hope you take me up on the challenge. Check back on the Daily Snack tomorrow. We're going to be meeting some of the heroes of Mega City and talking about what it takes to be the hero that God designed us to be. I can't wait to see you back then. Bye oh, bye, guys. Yeah. Young man, always surfing, no waves. Who I do it for? Who I do it for? I do it all. I do it all. I do it for.